Well, tonight's live player guest is, like Richard Harward, a transfer to the Cougar Hoops program. But his path to Provo, very different indeed. Please welcome to the Pope Show, Gideon George, joining us from the BYU Basketball Annex tonight. Hello, Gideon. Good to have you with us. How are you guys doing? We're doing, we're doing great. Too. Thank you for coming on. <laughs> Gideon, first question I have for you. Uh, what were your favorite sports growing up? in Nigeria, oh, and, and when soccer. did basketball become number one? I played, I played soccer. Like, um, I was a goalie then, I played soccer. I love soccer, though. When I growing up, I played soccer, a ton of soccer. <laughs> so um, I'll say basketball, it all started, like, when I, I went to the gym to go call my brother because my mom sent me to go call my brother. So I went out there to go call my brother. And the coach out there, he gave me a ball and started working me out. So that was like, that's how I started basketball. And, and maybe not everybody knows, your brother Samson has been playing basketball in the States for a while. He now plays at Central Arkansas after a career yeah. at Pittsburgh, right? Yes, that's right. And, and how's his season going? Um, his season is going well. He's loving it because he's getting to play a lot. So he's liking it out there. He's having fun. Coach Pope, when did you think that you had a chance to bring Gideon George to BYU from his junior college in New Mexico? Well, Gideon didn't make it easy. <laughs> so, listen, <laughs> Hobbs, New Mexico is not easy to get to. <laughs> I mean, Gideon, I came and saw you three or four times at Hobbs, right? Yeah, you did. And the first time <laughs> Gideon true. wasn't even hardly willing to talk to me, but we, we, we eventually broke through <laughs> the ice a little bit. <laughs> but I heard great things about Gideon uh, in Hobbs. For example, one of the things his coach told me was, Gideon, will you tell us about um, when you first got to Hobbs, New Mexico, and tell us about the gym and having access to it. Tell us all about that. Uh, um, there's like a little story. So... The first day I get on campus, so I saw like this rabbit outside running out. So <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a good meet. Then my coach turned to me, I was like, <laughs> they don't do that out here. I was like, oh, if, the, if it is my, in Nigeria, man, that's a good meet. That's a great meet for me and my boys back home, though. <laughs> Even though I see the rabbit running, <laughs> running around. It, it was when so Gideon, like, sorry, you, you, were, you were in New Mexico at junior college. That's when mm -hmm. you, you uh, as the story goes, I think, Coach Pope, you, you saw a teammate uh, getting rid of an old pair of shoes, and you said, well, man, I, I know some people who could use a pair of shoes like that. And that became a bigger thing yeah. and a bigger thing until, until you, and I think your brother, too, uh, began shipping mm -hmm. all kinds of athletic shoes uh, back home for, yeah. for, for kids in Nigeria to use. It became a really uh, productive effort and something you, 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 you spent a lot of time and put a lot of energy into. Is that still something you're involved with? Yeah, very, very much. I never, I never believe it's going to be like this big. I'm even surprised because I don't know. It's just like, I think it's, it's way above me right now. So I don't know. It's a beautiful thing, Coach Pope, though. It shows what, is, what kind of heart he has. Yeah, so Gideon has now, he's got the Gideon George closet <laughs> in a room adjoining the locker room where uh, the guys fill it up with, sh uh, with shoes as they're lightly worn, or actually guys have brought shoes from home. Uh, I've brought used shoes from, from my family at home. When the locker's filled up, we p package all the uh, shoes up in boxes and send them off. And so, Gideon, I don't know how many boxes you're in. It's gotta be a, it's gotta be a half a dozen, a dozen giant boxes you've sent already, right? Uh, I don't know, but all, all, all I know is that the kids back home, they like, they're like excited about it. They're like grateful for it too. So, Gideon, you told me these are the shoes you wore growing up, right? Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty the awesome. The picture you saw with that kid with the shoes, that's the shoe I wear pretty much back home. Yeah. Uh, the other thing about Gideon and George, he's an unbelievable cook. Unbelievable cook. When, Gideon, when you're telling this story about, first of all, this is my question. I know you could have cooked that rabbit. Could you have caught it? Yeah, I will. How, how are you going to catch a rabbit? <laughs> I will. What, That's how we do back home. We set like traps okay. for traps. rabbits. So, so it's just like easy. Yeah, no problem. You got it. <laughs> so Gideon, Gideon came to our house and he cooked dinner for us. It was so fantastic. So, so Gideon, I'm going to tell you all right if I tell this story, right? 
Yeah. So he, he, coach. He, he came he came to our house and cooked us dinner just for me and my family. It was so fantastic. And he like was like the greatest chef I've ever seen. I mean, he had pots and everything going all over the place. And then all of a sudden he's moving the pots, like boiling, like they've been on there for half an hour. He's moving with no with no mitts, with no nothing. And it was like he 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 feels no like your your hands are so tough. And um Getting you, you, you at home, you would cook every day over open fire outside, right? Yeah, sure. So I'm used to it, like bringing like pots on like fires so from home. So I was like, it was funny when coach was like, no, you don't do that here. I was like, I'm used to it. So yes, <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> Well, Gideon, the way you're playing has been a big deal. We look forward to seeing a lot more of you on the floor. Next time we get you on, we'll actually talk basketball. Uh, Gideon, thanks for coming yeah. on tonight. Appreciate it. Love seeing you. Love seeing your big smile. And we'll see you on the road. Have a great <laughs> night. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Good job, Gideon. All right. That is Gideon George. As we go to break.